Hey guys, Bray here from Mensa Gaming. Just letting you all know, moving forward from now, Mensa Gaming will be bringing out a lot of Horus Heresy content for you. Whether it's something like a bat rep, or even a campaign, narrative discussion, painting guides, or even events, hopefully we'll have something for you and your very own heresy. My role at Mensa Gaming is in fact a Horus Heresy coordinator, which means I'll be trying to make sure that some form of content is organized for you on a regular kind of basis. So it could be any of the ones I mentioned before, but I'll also be keeping an eye out for any potential leaks or uh, image drops from Warhammer or Forge World Open Days. And I'll be working very closely alongside Adrian as well, whom some of you will have already met, especially if you're from the Horus Heresy community down in Victoria, you may have already bumped into Adrian at some point. The reason why I picked up the Horus Heresy uh, coordinator role is because I have a huge love for the Horus Heresy itself. Not just the game, but the actual storyline as well, and have been collecting Horus Heresy models before Book 1 Betrayal dropped. Um, I've been playing the game since the second book dropped, so I've been at it for a little bit now. Um, and the reason why I got into it was simply because my Night Lords suddenly had these really cool flavorful rules and I could run them and they were so much fun to play and I could visualize my opponents running away in fear. Um, so that's why I really like the Horus Heresy. There are two books that I read uh, that I really, really enjoyed that really got me into it. Of course, Horus Rising, the first Horus Heresy novel and the first Heretic by Aaron Dembski Bowden. They were the two books that really, really got me into the Horus Heresy and I'm now here for life as it were. If you're looking at getting into the Horus Heresy guys, I would suggest heading into your local games workshop or local hobby shop um, and find yourself the box sets Betrayal of Kalth or Burning of Prospero. Those are two really, really good box sets. Uh, definitely got bang for your buck there and a really, really good way to start off your Heresy army. Sure, it's mostly just gonna be bodies, but you've got the start of an army there, and it's a pretty decent start if you ask me. Um, and all you need then is a friend to help you out with the points costing of the units inside the boxes. So that's basically it, guys. But before I go, I should mention, Adrian and I will be running an event called Legions at War in April. It is a 2,000 point single day tournament, and we'd love to have you there. The link in the description below will take you to the page and tell you all, all you need to know for the event, so you can get yourself prepped and ready for it. Or you can just check it out anyway, even if you can't make it down, you can see what it is that we've got up for grabs. Um, don't forget as well to go to mentorgaming.net, our website, where all our content gets posted. Uh, currently there is only 40k and Sigma stuff up there, but we'll have some Horus Heresy stuff ready for you very, very soon. And don't forget to have us liked and followed on the Facebook page as well, because as soon as we make a post on our website, we will make an instant post on Facebook so then everyone knows what's just happened and what we've just put up. So that's it guys. Thanks for listening and I'll see you soon.